The last few tutorials, I seem to be on a date object kick, and maybe that's because I've been working with them recently. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can take an array of dates and pick the earliest or the latest date. Before we get started here, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe, and remember the discount links to all my courses in the description. Also, my website has a list of all the tutorials I've published. There are over 200 now. The description also has a link to Patreon if you'd like to support this channel and get access to the code files. There's also a link to earn script. Now, I didn't get a video out last week. My family has experienced COVID-19 a little bit personally, so I didn't publish last week. My oldest daughter and her family has had it pretty bad for a couple weeks. In fact, my son-in-law was in the hospital for a bit. But they are all doing better now. It really gives me a new appreciation for how serious this disease can be for some people. So stay safe out there. I continually pray for those affected, for healthcare workers that really help us out, and for those working on a solution. All right, on to JavaScript. So this problem associated with dates is really quite simple once you understand some basic information about dates. We simply want to retrieve the earliest or the latest date for a series of dates. And in this case, it's going to be an array of dates. Now, first I want to take a look at the console before we do anything else. I want to create a date here. And now if I display the date variable, notice that it displays the date in a string format. Before displaying it uses the toString method to display that date in this format. Now when you see this, you might think when you're dealing with dates and trying to solve a problem with dates, you might think, well, in order to find the earliest or the latest date, I'm going to have to extract the date, the month, the year. I'm going to have to compare those and that way determine what's earliest, what's latest. Well, that can throw you off a bit because what's actually stored inside this variable when a new date created is the number of milliseconds since the 1st of January 1970, and that's in UTC time. That is what's stored in this variable. Now, we can see that pretty easily if we use the, the value of method. This is available on objects. And we can see that we have a number there. And so that's the number we're going to be comparing, or that's the number we can use to determine which is earlier and which is later. A number that is less than is going to be earlier than another number. A number that is greater than is going to be later. So that's how we can deal with this date problem. All right, now let me jump to Sublime. I have an array of dates here. You can see which one's the earliest, 2016 which one's the latest, 2018. We only have four of them there, but that's enough to be able to tackle this problem. Now, since we are dealing with numbers, we can use something like math.max or math.min to extract the lowest or the highest number, and therefore the latest or the earliest date. So let's take a look at that. So if I do console.log and math.max, to get the highest. Now, math.max takes a series of numbers separated by commas. Well, that's not an array. It doesn't take an array. So what can we do about that? Well, one way to handle that is we can use the apply method, pass in null for the value of this, and then pass in the array. All right, that's one way we can do it. Now, another way, I'm going to do the second console log statement. This is the way I prefer. If I do math.min, I'm going to do math.min this time, and then I want to use number separated by a comma, I can use the spread operator and apply it to that array like this. So now if we save this, go to the console, refresh, we get two numbers. Now notice they are two numbers. They're not displaying in date format. So that's going to require us to do something else here. Now that we've done some operation on it with this math.max and math.min, we have a number and we need it 
as a date object. So we can do this. We can do new date and then pass in that number that's returned. Do that down here as well. Now when we save this, come out to the console and we refresh. Now we're seeing the dates in a string format. So March 12th, 2018, that's the latest date. January 9, 2016, that's the earliest date. And we can verify that by just looking at the dates we created in this array. So that worked for us getting the latest date and getting the earliest date using math.max, math.min. Using apply so we can act on an array because apply takes arguments as an array or using the spread operator just spread the array out into separate numbers. Both of those work. Now this could be something that we create a function out of that we want to continue to use. For example, let's say I wanted to create a function for the maximum date. So it would look something like this. We're going to have a variable for passing an array of dates in and then that's going to return math.max and I'm just going to spread that out like this. Now we would want to return a date so we do new date like this. There, now we have a function that we can reuse all the time and I can do console.log and I'm going to call max date and I'm going to pass in the array like that. Let's see what that gives us. And then we get the same maximum or the same latest date as we got before. So that would give us a function that we could reuse over and over again as we needed it. All right, please hit that like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click that bell button to be notified about new releases. I really try to release a new tutorial each week. And thanks for watching.